So when you build a product, typically what happens is there are a few pieces that have to align, right? There's the building of the product part, which for startups, I would say that that is the easier part, unless you are building mm-hmm. like a core research kind of a thing. The building mm-hmm. is kind of the easier part. But once you build, who is it for? Like the product strategy of it, and then the packaging strategy of it, like which all features go into which packages? How do you bring them mm-hmm. in? How do you upsell them? How do you cross-sell them? What are the add-ons? What is the base? Mm-hmm. Is it a seed-based model, package model, all of that packaging mm-hmm. strategy? And then there is the, how are you going to get to the market? Is it product-led motion? Mm-hmm. Is it market uh, marketing-led motion? Is it sales-led motion? Or mm-hmm. is it virality-led motion, influencer-led motion? Like there are so many ways in which you can get to the market. Right. So there's that strategy. So there's product strategy, uh, packaging strategy, go-to-market strategy. Then there is the pricing strategy, which is, Again, Mm -hmm. we touched about it a little bit with packaging, but how do you price for maximum scale? And then there is uh, the the onboarding strategy. Then there is the ongoing Mm -hmm. success strategy. And then there is the support strategy. People Mm -hmm. typically think about all of these things in different boxes. Okay, I need to have a product strategy. I need to have a pricing strategy. I need to have Mm -hmm. a support strategy. That's not how it works. You have to really decide, okay, I'm going to, who am I going to build it? If if it is for mid-market, the moment you make that decision, the whole thread aligns in a slightly different way. 